sorry. Um, yes, there aren't any hands, but there was a question that was raised by Roy in the chat function. Okay. Um, if we can just address that before you close, it's um, he asks under what authority can a fund write off unreco unrecoverable area contributions and LPI? Yes, we did. We did deal with this. I think, um, especially in the last session where we had. Um, the auditors here, Mr. Visa from um, PwC, where you know he did make it very, very clear. Right now, the law does not allow you to write it off, um, and so you would have to get to a point where you 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 are able to demonstrate that you have done absolutely everything that you possibly can. Um, I think the issue becomes now, what do you do with it in the funds books? And we did say that that is something, and that's why I recall it so so um, clearly. It is something that we need to look at as well um, to see what can get what what can happen without just saying write it off. Because what we don't want to see is um, a funds just saying we're going to put this fund into liquidation, then we won't need to bother with trying to recover their real contributions because we can write it off. So we do need to find ways, um, or we do need to see what can get done and how big of a problem is this before we just come up with a solution to say we're going to write off. Um, and so I'm really going to encourage at this point the funds when we do ask you for information um, and where we do solicit, you know, whether it's via a survey or information gathering or anything like that, um, for us to build case studies, for, for us to look at situations so we can see what is practically happening, that you participate because all of those processes actually build into policy. Um, and, and you don't want to see policy that doesn't speak to your fund or hasn't considered your speak specific circumstances. Thank you, Guillaume. Okay. Um, uh, Rama, I see your hand is up again. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you, um, Takalani. Very useful, I think, uh, in terms of the entire process. Uh, I'm just picking up, I mean, there was support, I think, for the working group idea. And I know some people have volunteered. I think Francois, Dani, Dion, and I wouldn't mind also volunteering, but maybe a little bit about, you know, what does this working group do? Maybe a little bit about that uh, before we close off. Uh, uh, Taklani, thank you. Um, yeah, I think one of the, oh, most of the issues that we had spoken about for, from the beginning, you know, from, from part one, I want to say, um, most of the practical issues that the funds are facing um, and where is their non-alignment? I think the, the very first place would be where is their glaring non-alignment or um, misalignment, sorry, between, you know, what the funds are sitting within the collective agreements and how they actually function and what is sitting in the Pension Funds Act. And we need to unpack those places that are not being um, or are not assisting in um, the funds being able to do what they need to do. So I don't think I can list everything now, but I know that that might need to be the starting point to say, um, how do you actually function? Um, and where are those places where we've got issues? And then to see how we can come up with solutions on those. Um, I think when we do set it up, then we will need to also just have terms of reference and in there, we will be able to set out what it is that we would want to achieve. Um, timelines for that and, you know, who would be part of it and, and and all of that would need to be in collaboration once we have actually, you know, sort of set it up um, because it it is really necessary. And I think I said it from the first um, webinar that this is just to start the conversation. It is not that, um, you know, we're done with the webinar and we've, you know, we've done a talk shop and then we're done. Um, initially, these were actually meant to be workshops, but because of COVID, we then just said, let's do webinars because we might not have as good an interaction um, online, but um, we are starting to have in-person meetings. So, uh, and I know we're setting up um, workshops in person as it is um, from next year onwards. So we will definitely then be able to set up some something um, for us to, to, to take forward, Rama. Thank you. Thank you, Takulani. Very useful. Yeah, I think that's a good start. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Omar? Uh, Takulani, I think Donna's hand was up again. I don't know if it's an old hand. 
Yeah, uh, sorry. I, I didn't I didn't thought it was an old hand. Sorry, Donna. It was an old hand. OK, sorry. I, <laughs> I, I just assumed it was. Um, Omar? Thank you, Takalani. Um, I, I tried to call you just last week to say I'm sorry for just bursting, but I'm not <laughs> going to not going to do that. I think you're right. All I want to say is that um, Francois and myself come from the same fund. I'm the PO. He's a trustee. Please send us the invitation to. Um, I think there's a lot we can learn and there's a lot we can share with others. Yeah. Um, um, Omar, I mean, I, 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 th I think if there's one thing that I, and I'm going to repeat this, one thing that I've seen from the bargaining councils is that you're very willing to, you know, have these discussions with us, and we, we really do appreciate that. So, we will definitely extend the invite as we did when we started preparing. Um, I think it wasn't just, it wasn't extended to all the funds because there are, I think, 45. So, just in preparation, we tried to select from different um, industries. Um, and then took it from there. So we will definitely extend the invite and then uh, see whether we can we can have a very representative um, uh, work group. Um, and and as Rama said, I don't think that this is just you know 13A might be an issue. We might have other things. I know I'm very passionate about unclaimed benefits, so you know that also could be led from um, area contributions as well. So. Um, I think there are quite a few things that we need to have practical experience for uh, on what industry is dealing with, and we can really benefit from having more discussions. Thank you, Omar. Um, OK. Um, I want to say thank you so much for my, um, my support team, um, although I think I was supporting them more and just showed up to facilitate the meetings. Uh, Gia and Nandi. Um, we're very, very integral in setting up the webinars, sending you the links, the registrations. Um, we're tirelessly to make sure that, you know, we had these webinars before the end of the year. Um, and if it wasn't for them, I'm sure we would have had it much, much later. And I'm really glad that they managed the process so well. Um, thank you to all the speakers um, that, you know, offered their time and their expertise. Um, especially the funds um, where, you know, it isn't something that you, you do regularly, but you were very willing to come and share your experiences with us. We really appreciate that. And then finally, thank you so much for everybody that joined um, throughout this process. Um, I know I've seen people from the first um, part one of the webinars that joined and um, really appreciative of the fact that you were uh, present um, and you made the webinar such a success. Um, all the uh, uh, recordings will be available on our website and where uh, we, we will also source all the presentations so they'll go together with the presentations. Um, we just don't want to send them out in in piece meals and you know one at a time um, but we'd rather give you a whole collection at a particular time. Um, and thank you so much again for all the debates um, and all the suggestions and recommendations. I certainly know I've noted quite a few um, and we are happy to start a, a constructive and productive um, engagement on how we can resolve this on behalf of members. Um, thank you very much and that will bring our uh, series of webinars to a close. Um, and for the festive season, everyone, um, uh, get some rest because apparently we've got a lot of work to do next year. Um, and so you need to be rested and come back ready to uh, roll up your sleeves to make sure that we can resolve this issue. Thank you very much.